expense, more like commercials. With whack acting, from commercial to ash, and I'm laughing back up to laughing. I spit mad, God, civilization, John G. Jackson, like a Gatlin, the last dragon. Cosmic memory of an Atlantean, E3 technology is who I am in skin. Walking the landmass is Atlas. Some say I'm batshit crazy, but that's the masses for you. Can you blame the people? Most been trained to be feeble, tame sheep, or by the evil who means to keep you cashless in the fastest society. Where the vax and the mass are the blame for the dying street. You the root race, they been evil. Eat the cheap food they feed you, or read through these fools. Restore or rebel, can't play God unless acquainted with the devil. Polarity you choose, acquainted with its level. Frequency, distance is an illusion. So please unveil the confusion. Look beyond the shadow of the late, a hollow year. See the far and distant lands where tomorrow appears. Put it in perspective. Decision of each being the latest, most accurate vision of peace. Where each one teach one to reach one, freeze one from under the trees and the stump of the impeached one. Remember, all skin folk are not kin folk. Why I hold a sword in my left hand, my right a pen to pen quotes. Word to see Lord L. I'm going to be more hell to these foreigners till they leave our air, land, and seashore and sell their asses right back across that aqua agua. Screw y'all's dishonorable dogma. Something proper with no lube to pass. 25 years I've been the son of solitude. The oil that fused my chakras is cruel. Love my people to us. The evils I'm heartless and rude. First born of ankle, the dawn of the twinkle. Twinkle little sun. I got bright and I could think too. I blink through a wrinkle in time. Rip that winkle and rhyme. And my shit stink too. To link you to source. Yes, you rather have AI sink you. I not only know the ledge. I'm on the brink too. They want to extinct you. Your essence is viable. Crimes against humanity. No oppressors. Liable. They try to write on my recital, yet my presence vital as the session's title. Welcome to the seventh cycle. The heart of man is as the sun. The reception order for the divine ray of spiritual intuition descended unto man. The brain of man is as the moon, the source of human intellect. The body of man is the earthly vehicle. Let the sun impregnate the moon, or let the spiritual fire prompt the human intellect. And let the result fructify in the womb of a purified body, and you will develop the son of the sun, the quint essence, the stone of the wise, true wisdom, and perfect happiness. I teach you up. Get you worked up. The human heart cries out for help. The human soul implores us for deliverance. But we do not hear their cries, for we neither hear nor understand. But the man who hears and understands we call crazy and flee from him. This is a call to my ancestors. Read the land of damn settlers. Turn our signs to hand gestures. Whether we feel an immense pressure. Sun will store each clan better. Plant in a devil to stand the weather. It's a must we band together. Put that on Abraham and Esther from Castilians to Conquistadors. Iberians and traitorous Moors. Didn't arrive as friends to us, whether as slavers, invaders, or disguised traitors. Missionaries, Islamic Christians with dictionaries. No mutual goal to coexist. Those warships in our trilateries. Military tactics to test shores. Foreigners have no respect for treaties and oath. Why expect more from those who want to conquest except war? They didn't bring women during the invasions. The minds were on rape. Miscegenations. The spread of mis- and disinformation which manufactured the miseducation of the soul. Carter G. Washington, Robert Taylor Holmes, Marcy and Brooklyn, Projects and Hoods, where we were pushed in Cali to Florida. Hardly cushion. It's like the terrorist never-ending shipment of American Indians from Belize to the Caribbean. Gives I shot this sheriff meaning. Shut my field can be read no book flows in my veins were prepared with no hook behind the back pass with flare no look this beef is rare get fed no cook we're peaceful people they call us animals truth of the matter they were cannibals practice unclean religious rights evidence tangible check the annals i bring heat this beast flammable feel free to critique this cannibal if your brain's deeply manacled release or get treated damnable you should be hannibal i talk black hole fighting the line now the chiefs back with bulk that's big muscle drip up to tussle with uncle sound big brother and his clique i put that on abraham Ham and Esther, it's so much we band together. Plant and the devil to stand the weather. Sun on strong, each clan better. Whether we feel in the man's pressure, turn our signs to hand gestures. Read the land, the damn settlers. This is a call to my ancestors. Hot to the mall, man. I'm gonna go out and pick some of these down. Based on real life, it's nothing like the old school. 
Hands out, gracious is what it feels like. It's nothing like the old school. This goes way back. Before I was knee deep out in them streets, gang dangling, prison and all old crazy mess. This is what really makes me me, y'all, at its core. So check it out. I arrived in 1970, August 14th, to be precise. Eldest son, firstborn of five, alive as the Christ. Had sunny days, just like I had spooky nights, which accounts for my old lows and my newly heist. Childhood, not of the norm. Excellence, how I perform. Deep down, I was mad, bad. That's why not I bring the storm. Memorize Psalms and other passages of scriptures after learning the Quran to fend off the jinn's whispers. It was like my mother and father tried to hide us for the Pontius Pilots, Kiharas, and other outsiders. No celebrating holidays kept away from ungodly ways of playing games, calling names the cost of what finally pays. I'm saying you wouldn't believe such discipline, wishing to make friends with the neighborhood children. But it was like wish again from early on. I was taught I was different, not better, just gifted. There's a big difference. Had telescopes, microscopes, chemistry sets, books, snaps, paints, carpentry tools, wrote poems, not yet known as raps. Learned alphabets and mathematics from my mama. Learned meditation and martial arts from my father. Watch my uncles create music, so I beat drums. Play keyboards with my dad, the guitar, he strum. Didn't consume pork nor beef. I would eat plums, not knowing this was part of who I would become. True story. This is based on real life. It's before all the jail feel nice. The genius with them. Oh, the angel yeah. of life to crack that vibration that crash is what it feels I like true story this is based on real life this is for all the jail feel nights the genius with them each. the angel of life have vibrations now around it feels like 1982 was no longer separated from the outside world off the porch yeah i made it first noticed her standing in my b-boy stash Left at the chance and began to break dance on wooden floors. I got sore from the workout. It was me, Chili T, my man Shabazz, Muhammad, and Phil G. When I met her on 93rd. It felt like an eight. <laughs> 71 degrees. All right. On my banner, the manner of my approach. Yo, I rocked her. Yep, I ain't do nothing to my wig, y'all. It still look all right, though, right? No, nah, let me stop. That's some old bitch ass nigga shit. <laughs> Had a rough way to go yesterday. Uh, I don't speculate, but uh, I believe I ate some bad clams for my clam chowder. It was brand new can. My heart graffiti, evidence of being brand new clan, but like, like I stated, I know people work in the food industry, right? And they said be careful because they cycling shit. And there's different people coming in at night doing work um, that they normally do. And these people, they can tell that they're fighting, that they're war, that you know, and 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 they're poisoning food. They're every every so often throughout all because you know who controls. You know, Bumblebee, you know, most of the shit's coming from China now when you get sardines and shit farmed. It ain't even fresh, unless you look for fresh caught. But all these different foods out there, especially seafoods, they want to change everything up. You see how they're destroying infrastructure. They want to lock some, some of you in in certain places. That's why they have soldiers there. None but fighting age men in, in the big tents. They're taking out the best of them. They're training them and equipping them. I'm not making this up. And the food industry, right? You look into it yourself. All right? So I believe I got a batch that probably went everywhere well certain areas where it's most common um so the clam chowder i ate is snow snow clam right it's wild caught but it's made by bumblebee and there's a there's a saying that some of the stuff they say is wild caught is not actually what they say it is it could be butter it could be a number of other things other than what it's saying um is it organic well the sea is poison they poison the sea so whatever's in there like i said petroleum is organic uh, you could take petroleum and break it down, and anything you pull from petroleum, if it's a new substance, is organic. It's in its natural state and form, not meaning original. You see, I put the word freedom. Do you really know what it means? I guarantee you 99 to 100% of you don't know what it means. And we're going to get into it. Okay, what you think in your little fictional world, 
Because if you was free, you wouldn't be thinking how you thinking. You would know it. And you're not free. And that little video I put up, that most of y'all decide to snub your nose at and not like or anything, you little weak ass niggas. And you little goofy ass pale skins, because some of y'all think like, oh well, we came here to conquer y'all. No, motherfucker. They will subjugate you to any and everything, you dumbasses. So hit the like, follow, learn, and pay attention. And stop listening to these wayward pale skins, light skins, who don't know what they're talking about. It's your last chance, y'all. Dandelion routine. Pure the blood, strengthens the heart, blah, blah, blah. I already drank about two cups of lavender, lemon, a lime, charcoal, my activated charcoal. I know my moment I ate it. it you know how long it takes for incubation. The, the stomach, when you eat something deadly, it took me no more than about, my system knew right away after about five minutes because I was empty. So it's already breaking things down. And I wasn't alkalinized, so that means my stomach acids were pretty up to the mood. And I had already pooed and all that. And it hit me like, oh, I had to sit back and I go, oh, here we go again. So I went outside, looked at the sun, grounded a little bit. And then I realized, okay, this is real. No, it's always real. But I says, now this is a real fight because I'm going to find out. They didn't call me back either. So I'm going to see if they're going to, because the media knows a fraud. We're going to see what happens because whenever they do recalls, you don't know it. You don't hear it on the news. No, there's tons of recalls. Go and look into the food industry and look at the recalls they've had just last week. Okay? How many of y'all ever seen Listeria? How many of y'all know how, where that comes from? Really come from? This is what I'm talking about. A lot of you really don't know nothing. And I'll prove to you that you're not as free as you think you are. Or, if not proved to you, maybe you'll question it. It's real strong like coffee. I made it real strong. So I might have to go on. Dandelion root. Tea or coffee. Strong. They say trust the signs for somebody's line. Try my patience, I'm alive. With Mother Nature, find these agents that is dying matrix. I'm in my own zone. Within my own home. I'm in my own throne. My own skin, no clone. Since 1970, Dad was born. Robert Taylor's 92nd. Ashes, Buckingham's the one. First sister club, Muhammad School. Then fellowship, Christian Academy. Just before I went public, still stuck with self adamantly. Spark from the infinite. See the sun of equivalent. The imminent instrument of the imminent village militant. Break down in increments. Read the land of immigrant. Misogynist and feminist. Restore the innocent. Half rich of Indians. Round pegs and square holes. Kidding spirits and rare souls. Discard the scarecrows. Bad yet, the straw man. Pepper bull rhetoric of the blow man. It was us European song and ever since squatted on our land. Slotted our clans. Charted our sands, auctioned us through birth certificates, social security, bartered our branches, senses, or the dolls rolls, religious books, or long scrolls. Everywhere we turn, crossroads, and we learn a more is most small. I'm not talking horse cold. Purge the family tree, they've infected the bloodlines of the autonomous Niji, brought with them disease, yeah, pair face, traffic, made tags, great gore and calendar holidays, turn the rainbow to a gay flag, they made treaties with tribes, they recognized federally, ineffably, they were in cahoots with the Iroquois Confederacy, it's my destiny, along with the ancient ones to return for everything they owe, I don't mean government sanctioned funds, I get other artists' notions of mine, that's how I've flown, because the last fly blown, Look for me in a cyclone. Great spirit, quick in my bones. I'm a true and living soul. Son of the great matriarch. My heart, listen and go. Everyone wants to walk in the sun with her. But she'll run to the one who'll dance in the rain for her until it's done. I'm in my own zone. Within my own home. 
I'm in my own throne. My own skin, no clone. On long going in for the wind, ozone, ten toes, strong, closed doors, I open it, shifle it, my own tone, microphone it, my own song, on my own right, and my own wrong, my own matches, I'm my own master, add that to my own loan, I'm in my own zone, within my own home, I'm in my own throne, my own skin, no clone, I'm in my own zone, within my own home, because the last fly blown, look for me in a cyclone, microphone it, my own song, my own skin, no clone, is that Still be once foreigners are long gone. Foreigners are long gone. Now they get on the fucking get on the witch card. This is the eagle feather. Y'all know what this is. Charisma. I got a hair in here. This is my service dog's hair. Okay. Uh, it's made by a very good brother of ours. All right. Made it some time ago. Uh, I was on the reservation. You can see Charisma's name is carved into it. So what is this? It's like a totem. Like a token, but a totem. Totem pole. It's her hair all the way down in three parts. If you understand three, you have the snake skin, real snake skin. Real snake skin. Y'all know the importance of that amongst the serpent people. So this is uh he called himself chief two 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 persons, chief white, two persons. I know him as Henderson, our brother Henderson. All right. I love him, he's in Texas. And um, yeah, I was just thinking about charisma. And I says, she knows what freedom is. She was allowed to be her do a dog, as the term we use. It's a different word for it, but that's not here or there. And um, she was poisoned by the bitch that I stayed with. But for the last few moments, I stayed with. Because other than that, I should have stayed to myself as usual. Because when I saw the family and how the mother died and abuse from the father, and I saw all the other things and why the children left so early, and then I started listening to the other people around her family talk about certain things. Then I remember I, when I remember she worked at the government building, the hospital, as a translator. And I would usually go to the hospital and see what's going on. And I would see all the little government agents, and you know how it is over in the reservations. First of all, those people are not indigenous to this land. They're set there because they need to be set there. And they think they're free. All these little fake Native Americans, these little Mexicans and Latinos and all these people of color around, all these little made-up New Age identities that didn't exist before in the 17th, the so-called fictionalized 17, which was the, 700, the 7th century, all right, 700s. They don't have a fucking clue who they are. Not one of them are free. From the head of the drug cartel to any one of these goofy Masonic orders and everything else. I just saw somebody posted something about Masons and just let it be. People are going to choose to be what they are. You have this so-called America. Like I said, there's nothing that's new. And you have all these pale skins thinking there's some kind of, you know, you had to, you had to create a white superiority, right? They think they're all some great shit and there's nothing great about them. They were brought here. There's a reason why I put that video up. Somebody found it for me. He says, you're red. Check this out. And you know what you was talking about some years ago? I said, yeah. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> he don't start off a conversation with. He says, you remember you was telling us that, you know, all the trends led. You said that was actually number war. There's more and more people coming in fighting wars. I says, yeah. I says, every time I see one of these Pecker Woods doing that shit on the World's Fair, why is it that they can't? They evade or they can't tell the story that most people occupying the cities were the remnant of those who were here fighting us. I've said it and y'all just didn't hear me. We were still at war while they were occupying our grand cities all over the world. And because we were losing, they started to destroy them. Now, there are many of them who know that they're from us and they cried out. See, Theodore Albert Herzl was an original Arab. Are you aware of that? Just like fake-ass Rockefellers and Vanderbilt's and all them, original Arabs. The emperor of Mexico, you see the year that he was there, you paid attention to it, the conquering. 
And all the women in the children, the young women were subjugated to rape. So a lot of these so-called Spanish motherfuckers that the cartel so busy running around murdering each other in their dumbass existence. The remnant of the original people of this land, the Negro. And that's what the bloodline is that these fake ass manuscript monkeys tell them all oh, is African American, attempting to loot when the whole earth was Negro, what was melanated. And there's three portions of but you can say blackness. There's a Negro of the Andes in all America. You have the Kutcher. I forget how to pronounce it. But that, what you would say over there in the so-called Russia and all the way down through Italy. Well, no. You have the Europe all down through Italy and down into the northern part of Ethiopia. Then you have that over the Kutcher, when you could say would be more or less Russia and, and Ukraine and all in Poland and all those places over there. We were everywhere. We built a great world and we were subjugated. And there were those here, a lot of companions. When we tapped into some things, we used to travel all over. When Atlantis was here, we knew all of this earth. We knew of more than you can imagine. We used to travel the wormholes or gates that we built. We used to visit outer realms and outer worlds, and not out in space, other lands. We traveled all of it immensely. And then somebody realized it wasn't a good thing. Wars, fighting things that shouldn't have been fought, introduction to things to things that shouldn't have been introduced to. Well, when you tamper with things you're not supposed to, you fall. That's a simple way of putting it. And uh, those things will look for weakness. That's what you do militarily, right? And in that, you would find those who would scoff at the power that your ancestors once had. No, this is not the story I got to tell. This is kind of part of it, but I need to speak on this because a lot of you think you, you, you don't get it. I know you don't, because I see, I watch how you move, your actions, how you talk, you convey. You think everything is all right and everything is and, I, and and you manifest it but you don't do it as one so i have to do this so 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 things will utilize whatever it can. Remember the hermit crab that usually when its body gets a little bigger, it cannot molt. And if it does molt, it has to uh, unsheathe itself from its home and it has to find a new bigger one. And sometimes that's arduous and sometimes it becomes a meal. Well, could you imagine something coming in during the molting period or the realization of the mind melt when we started falling? And they make a deal with them and say, you will be on top and we will give you and show you everything. If you help us defeat them and their in your weakened state. Okay. So they decided to rise, raise up and like a thief in the night, sitting at dinner tables, people out in the yard playing, people at council meetings, poisoning. They would poison everybody. And that was the first step. So what you saw were people coming from conquering around the same period. Europe coming off the boats to conquer and subjugate us. We're just a little different. 
true. You're Atlanteans. You Dians. I know it's hard to break from their little fucking religion because they didn't really create it. They perverted it. They didn't create nothing. And but they had to hide as much as possible and they had to add and make up a whole lot of stuff. That's why I I take issue when I hear people talk about Jesus, this, that, and the other. It's not because something didn't exist, regardless of how the story goes. Y'all just not even ready for that part. Y'all don't even know how to come together when you're told to come together. There's nothing free about you. I know. I know. You're not a person. You're not a them based on corporate ideas of uh, subjugation to a system that denotes you as a living man and woman. But to address one and say I'm the living man and woman, they will go against it because they are perverted and you must be subject subject subjugate subjugated or subjected because the system that has been incorporated was to defile you. That's why Martin Luther King was a piece of shit with Jesse Jackson all alone. Because when he made that speech and he realized what he did, he had some moral subjugation. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, all those guys, Connor West, all those are just the lower echelon who are never supposed to be in the position they are. They're not leaders, they're not nobody. They go against you. They're not free. They're slaves to the mentality and they believe that they can, the Matrix, that's the reason why our beautiful sister wrote it the way she did. I know it's not steak. And he's sitting there with you know, you know, the man with the shades. I don't like giving certain things power, y'all, okay? So he's sitting there, and his nose is not a snake. He's, he's in the matrix. He's got to betray his own people, okay? You know Agent Smith, all right? That's what Jesse Jackson and all them playing, and that worthless motherfucking show that betrayed everybody. Okay, there's more to it than that in the story, but the reality is, when you consider the persons, peoples, that denotes you and the policies and procedures they have from being a man. When you say human or mankind, it's derivative it has nothing to do with you standing on the foundations of your truth and creation because of the the perversion of the world they've created and they've been out allowed to minister upon everybody how the fuck are you free tell me how you're free which one of y'all gonna whine to me about work again or that house you have that has no harmony and balance unless you bring a lot of people in you're singing and you're having a good time that's the only way and then the walls and the windows want to break and the walls want to come down but you don't see it because you don't relegate yourself to this truth of freedom the majority of you, 99 to 100% of you, have never been reared or nurtured in true freedom. You have been subjugated. Because Martin Luther King says, I led my people into the burning house when our people literally was still free. Regardless of the murders and everything, but we fought back because we have this ancestral power. Now that he betrayed the people with all these other worthless niggas, the Black Panther movement, all of them. You see them still running around with a black, red, and green flag looking like a bunch of fucking idiots, right? Richard's son looking like a big ass fucking idiot. Who say they haven't been communicated to? This not they're not free. Matias brother and uncle was locked up, fighting back robbers at a, at a weed shop. Right, Mexicans, right? My brothers, I love them. So one's dead by the abuse of that fake ass sheriff and that fake ass. Correction, that correction and police detention centers and all that because you know they hold nothing but the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst costume characters. I know a bunch of them that worked in Montclair, New York, the most sadistic, worthless pieces of excrement. I mean, come on, they call themselves Rick Rose now, nothing but a faggot. Like what woman wanted to be with his big fat ass as a CEO? Nobody's free, and yet you still subjugate yourself as if you're free. You really believe you're free. You know, I, I know some old dumbass Woods, Pecker Woods, right? I'd be working on their race cars. Well, I'm blowing my heel, my moonshine, and, my, and my, my trustworthy beagle, and my shotgun. I'm free. I'm like, no, you ain't, you dumb motherfucker. They watch you all the time. 
It's because you ain't got cameras and no cell phone. Out. Well, they got stuff because they work on hot rods. And you out here in the sticks where no one's supposed to be on, our ancestral, on our, my ancestral land. Oh, Red, I know what you're talking about. No, you're not free. Right now, they're listening to us. They're watching you, and you think they can't see you. It's because you ain't got a TV, and you ain't got camera on your celly. You can still got that little SIM card. Wait until they stop. They're going to stop fucking with the SIM card soon. Oh, no, I, I talk to people who live in the sticks even out here. Build race cars. And now they're all paranoid. So how can you be free if, if I can easily sway you to make you paranoid? When my intention was for you to know the truth. I want y'all to tell me how you're free. Hey, Big Jerry's think about this. It was a master as a butler and a war. Robin, the only one who was Batman. Necessary to defend the property of. Yeah, that's good, Big Jerry's. I dig it. By the narrative, right? He, that motherfucker wasn't free. He was, he was, he was locked away because how the system used the hand to murder his parents to pull him into a situation that he was never meant to be in. So he's not free. Nobody's free. No one's free. Not even Superman from Krypton with Kryptonian and all that blew up because the motherfuckers was warm with each other. Nobody's free. Listen to me. Everything they put out there is to keep you encapsulated and enslaved in the mental. Everything you watch, they live. Roddy Roddy Piper and the brother, which called, that went on to become a preacher and, you know, cross mounted pussy and, you know, apocalypse now, whatever the fuck, right? Or Vietnam, whatever that Vietnam movie was, right? Um, nobody's free. It was a documentary. They tell you it was a documentary, but people still hold on to they live like it was a world, you know, a cult movie now. And all. No, a documentary based on something that's subscribe something to show you something but most people never elevated from it even when i came and i was the first one telling y'all about the man that created the shades of blue and the motherfucking military took it real quick because it could see shit that was all around no one's free so you're free. For over a year, we've been telling y'all to get away from the cities and suburbs. Y'all stay right there slaving. Without no aspiration or knowledge that you can be growing your own fruit and vegetables. And really be free. You can't let go of the system they created, the sports, the lies. Big Pontiac shows you this shit's rigged. I told you I have family members who played in all the sports in the major. I boxed. I could have went professional, all that shit. I went in the military, and I went around the world, and I saw shit jump off in a hot less than a second. I saw things go come together. I worked on things. I'm telling you, you're not free because you show you're not free. And I said, I didn't want to do this. I said, I got to do this. Let me read something to you. Let me read something to you. None of you are free. You know what I'm talking about. You sit at your desk. You sit it with your little ear. You're doing calls. You know, we... we, we you to work to take care of elderly and sick people. You got you're getting paid to do something that's supposed to be natural and normal. People who shouldn't really be sick should be living another hundred to two, three hundred years. But see, because you've adapted to a system because you don't know the truth of the past, and some of us are not as eloquent as we should be, attempt to bring you into awareness. And when I said I am different, I mean I'm different. Just because you walk with something in the world or, or once upon a time doesn't mean that you know what it is or who they are. Let me read this to you. Albert Camus, right? I love what he states. But regardless of that, you know, you got to get a job. You got to go to work. You got to get married. You have to have children. You follow fashion, act normal, walk on the pavement, watch TV, obey the law, save your old age. Save for your old age. What the fuck is that? What free shit is that? Who needs fucking direction in the world that they were meant to be in and live and enjoy? How, many, how come there's so many dumb pale skinned motherfuckers who think there's something? Why do you think I read the inventions? Why do you think I've been talking about history? Why do I think I challenge motherfuckers and say, if you want to debate, you can come on debate? I've had podcasts and motherfuckers don't show up. I got all these fake little worthless black souls, right? On TikTok, I tell them all the time. I just laugh when they post because I'm not. I just say, this dumb nigga, really? They paying him to 
But why don't you come and challenge a real person? Right? Oh, that's right. I'm no person. Why don't you come and step to masculine, to man, and sit your butt down and be ready to handle and, and take everything I dish out? Because what I'm going to do is show you a fractured individual. I'm going to show you a obedient slave and how they're going to look in the mirror later and they're going to want to stop themselves. Is freedom nothing but a lie? Of course it is. Who the fuck free has to express that they're free? That's like dumbass natives talking about, you's a freedman. I said, no, that's freeman. Freeman means never never locked up or anything and there's not a civilian. That means they're wild and free. Wild has nothing to do with an animal bucking, kicking up their own poop in the damn stockades. That's not free. It means be able to go and move as they should, as our people could, even though we had these goofy pelicans coming over. And some of them got dead. They, a lot of them got dead. They won't tell you that. Some of them got lynched because some of, them were, some of the brothers and sisters they murdered were untouchable. But because nobody knew the system, because we kind of stayed to ourselves. Okay, well, y'all doing your thing, you here. But you had these over uh, over overzealous fake motherfuckers that still had that war in them, you know, and they didn't conquer everybody over in Europe. A lot of melanated people still there. It was always there. They're the true Germans. Same thing in Russia. Well, they, they look real light, but you can look at them, see them. some of them when we got them big old booties and lips. Y'all know what I'm talking about for those who've been to Russia. I met I met a couple that says, I'm blacker than you. And I'm like, I know exactly who you are. And I ain't black. And they go, oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I had this dumb motherfucker yesterday come up to me talking about, hey, man, hey, pale skin, hey, man. And look at how I look. Right? I'm walking with all my shit regalia. And he's like, he wants to have a conversation. You know, it looked like he recovering from meth or something. He says, yeah, man, I got a cool black dude. I says, man, if you don't get the fuck away from me, I'm going to knock you out and lay you over. And I'm going to throw you over this thing into the next aisle, bro. Don't you ever come to me with that crayon shit? You's a dumb Heck of wood. I said, and there people at the Starbucks thing and the Chinese and everybody looked around and saw me. And you got 230 pounds. That's where I am right now. Five foot ten, ten and a half, right? Looking down at this goofy motherfucker saying, Let me tell you something, cuz don't you ever on my land, you see this face, you remember it, motherfucker. I'm not dumb like everybody else in here. I'm not dumb like many of my so-called brothers and sisters i am not dumb like the majority of you you are my ancestral republic my fucking land not their land not their land because i know real fucking history he just and the cameras on he just like i give a fuck all your ancestors fought a bunch of motherfuckers and a whole bunch of them died so for all the worthless little punk ass niggas Trying to buy your way into something, you slave, you obedient fucking slave. Do me a favor, stay in your fucking lane. Okay. I once thought I had a beautiful future life planned and dreamed for me, as everybody else has. A good job, marriage, right? Job, marriages. Aren't you indoctrinated into that shit? A big family. I, I, I thought I was reaching out to some of the most powerful sisters to make some good babies, right? I don't care less about sex. I can go have sex anytime. That's not. I'm not hard. I'm not some hot. I dated many tens, and someone was funky, and I just whoa, no, no, no. You know, that's not where I'm at. I've been married to beautiful women, but they were ugly on the inside. And see, that's what I, I always knew that when I'm looking for these beautiful women. When I say beautiful, I ain't talking about physical. I'm talking about. In the inside to have these babies they have this religion they believe like they could control like one woman one man i'm like bitch you fucked up go on about your business that's when i realized they're broken they're part of the system you're a bitch you ain't a woman you are exactly what the fuck they made because you don't have no clue about the truth so when i eloquently attempt to reach out and bring them to that level they say stuck i'm from chicago ohio detroit I, i'll shut the fuck up you're a monkey in a cage that don't want to let go of that neck lock and that got them goddamn chains around your ankles and wrists Fucking use a slave to so make powerful babies. That's what the fuck we did. They take all that and they make it a game. They give it to the Mormons so they can impl implement a mind fuck to say, oh, you're supposed to be doing Christian marriages, niggas. And you had the most scary ass grandparents of yours who were fucking scary. Or they just didn't want no problems because they wanted to live. They saw the pain and some of the things that happened. So they became pussified. 
That's right, your grandparents. Your, you ex-generation nigga especially. Your grandparents was pussies. See, mine were killing people. Yours was pussies. That's why I knew who the fuck I was. You think I, I wear the name Lucifer with fucking pride, motherfuckers. <laughs> your pussies. A divine physical. Well, anyway, could have had many beautiful babies running around right here on a bigger house. No problem to get none of it. No, I met weak ass, monkey ass, niggerish ass women who tip to walk around like they're indigenous and this, that, and other, but they still held on to scars without freeing themselves so to show that they're not fucking free. I think I'm the only one walking around this whole entire earth fucking free. And the ones who lie, they're not free because they're, they're, they're stuck in their lie. They put y'all in purgatory. Now they got to have all the little goofy monkeys, scientists, fuck with the food. Just that long plans, they call it. And the things they shouldn't be playing with. Let's go on. A divine physical appearance, a fast car, parties, lots of money, being famous. You see it nonstop with all these dumb niggas on YouTube and everywhere else. You see how easy a person can start making fiat and get something to it. Even though they got a longer plan, but play the role but the role is damaging to many others if they don't elevate them. Remember, get a job, go to work, get married, have children, follow fashion, act normal. You got to act fucking normal. I mean, wait on the... Wait on the pavement, watch TV, fucking just stand in lines, all that shit. I was at, when I was at the grocery store the other day, right? I was letting the women go ahead of me. No, no, go ahead, babe. You only got like five things. But you're standing with everything in your arm. Can I not put it down? There's no clarity. I says, can I not go and get a cart and put it in it? And the lady says, that's right. I says, well, obviously, I'm not in pain holding it. Hun, go ahead. Just take the off. Lady behind me got a cart full. I stepped to the side, and the dude looking at me like I'm crazy. I said, you go right ahead, ma'am. You got that little baby there. You go right ahead. So y'all call it being a gentleman. I say it's natural. See how you're slave? Because you think it's being a gentleman. Nigga Ted Bundy was a gentleman. Jesse Jackson and all them motherfuckers, Malcolm, all of them, all of them was gentlemen. And then when they realized when they fucked up and they started making a change, we got to get them out of there. Or it was time for the actor to play another role. Paracon, betray you motherfuckers every goddamn day, but he give you a little bit of tea. But you just don't know how to sip it. You want to take a big drink as if you got the answer, but you didn't hear shit. Because you still got goofy motherfuckers talking about ace. Do you know what A apostrophe S-E or A-S apostrophe E, whatever the fuck it means? No. You've been grafted in because you're too stupid to fucking be. You're not free. You're good, obedient slaves. We're Muslims. We got Sunnis and this, that. Who you think made up all the diatribes? When I told everybody what made the clan over here, you think it's a gang? Gujar. Do you know what the fuck a Gujar is, people? The tricksters. But everybody think they know something. Let me finish reading this. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, Q Dog. Yo, Q Yo, Quintus. I'm live on YouTube, man. Let me turn these notifications off. Shit popping down and playing and stuff. I'm live right now on YouTube. Big Jers, Mike's Five, a lot. It's new. A lot of people in here, I believe. That's the one I'm going to have a podcast played for the Cincinnati Colts. Know my family very well. Blah, 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 blah. Know all of us. Anyway, let me finish reading this. But who assures me that these are the things that will make me feel fulfilled and happy? Are my dreams and ambitions really worthy of being called mine? When you think about it, y'all, I mean, walk on the pavement, watch TV, obey the law, save for your old age. You know, 401k, which is still for most people. 
And then they got the idiots standing there because they got fake white supremacy. Like, oh, it ain't no problem. It's no issue. But anyway, <clears throat> will make me feel fulfilled and happy, right? So, but who assures me that these are the things that will make me feel fulfilled and happy? Well, if you condition enough and, you know, the Andy Griffin show and all that, Opie and all that shit, you know, you think that you're, you know, the Waltons and you, th it's all by design make you capitulate without you know you capitulate because you next door is the big house owned by the joneses to a little to to my little brown shack that's owned by me i get so mad every time that i see him so i guess deep down that's called envy why would you have that well the rights that you have have been plagiarized by the enemy the natural born rights of the woman and the man has been subjugated to a foreign entity that has no rule on this land except for what they actually purchased by gold and that's dc but because you have all these systemic same dummies running around the world with costumes and they don't even know where that stuff's coming from in their blood because they don't block it it's from memory but they mess with you and you don't know how to free yourself Are my dreams and ambitions really worthy of being called mine? Well, when somebody's directing your focus and dreams, you go to sleep talking about, I woke up and I played these six numbers and I hit the, you know, I hit the lottery. Then you have somebody who's an actor. They put up on the screen, this motherfucker always been rich or he wasn't. And they give him a little chump chest and they make motherfucker think he won 126 million dollars and they he only gets 76 right the iris got to get theirs which is illegal right based on the federal reserves it's not even on this land but because people don't notice you have been groomed and grafted in to believe that it's yours when it's not okay so with all those dreams and ambitions those dreams that are not yours they are cultivated and nurtured by everything you see around you that's a displacement you know, how do you, how do you put a, how does a sub sink and float? What are those bowels for? For water intake and displacement, right? So where is everybody at right now? Head just above water or are you drowning? Or are you floating on the top? See, you're not floating on the top because you ain't free. First of all, your ass ain't shouldn't be on the water because you ain't a fucking boat. But you get what I'm saying. But a lot of y'all in the sand with your head buried up. Waiting for everybody to start throwing rocks at it. You know the old story in the Bible, right? In the Torah. Anyway, that's what you're at. You ain't floating over the land like a scarab beetle. Like you're supposed to be able to. When your chemicals and everything is in line and your harmony and frequencies and everything around you allows you to. Superman just didn't come when they made when a nigga made it out of Detroit and he was a thug and a big flying and leaping over buildings. That's not because it wasn't able, you wasn't able or capable. They had to dead that. They had to graft you in, bring you into a fake na narrative of dreams and ambitions. May give you drive for something that never was a requirement or need because we all moved as one. We performed as one. No fucking word as work existed. We did things preparatorily for things that could happen. And we were transposed to that shit. And here, look at us now. Why is it that we remember everything? Why is it we invent everything? Why is it the buildings that we may still stand where they should keep coming down, but they keep hyping them up as they're the great builders and shit? No, we got tired of peanuts being betrayed. And we got tired of working. And here come the CIA with their fucking drugs by these fake ass Jews that said they were German and on our land, pushing in the communities, making all this poison, talking about this medicine when we used to heal the world, motherfuckers. Tell me how you're free. You don't know good genes. You're making babies who are fucked up. You don't know the importance of how things used to be. And then when something comes along, you can't even see it for what it is because you're too locked the fuck up in your head. Dumb with crayon colors and ignorant like the motherfuckers I addressed 20... 24-7. Drink it while it's warm. Don't let it get cold.
Unknowingly, my whole life, concepts of beauty, happiness, freedom were all implanted at some point. Society, government, or whatever is controlling us with tools such as media or somewhere along the way, I lost myself. And only a couple of years ago, I realized how much of me I really am, or rather I am not. How many of you are you? Who remembers me talking about that? How many of y'all think you're you? I know the arrogant, ignorant motherfuckers say, I know who I am. You don't know shit. I'm not berating or downplaying you. I'm telling you a fact. Under my authority. You don't know shit. I don't give a fuck how free you think you are, how much you think you know me. You don't have a clue about me. I tell you stories, you know, and real ones. I was the only one out of a whole ship of damn near 6,000 people taken to this fucking place in Edinburgh, Scotland. One motherfucker at 20 fucking two years old by a chief in the first class Vietnam era. I was Vietnam era, but they were in a war. And only a few every year is when they see that off of different ships. Only a few and heard the story. Then I was told the story by my great great uncle. Passed down my great grandma. My grandma didn't like the story. That's how shit changes. Mitigates one flip. Pain and suffrage, murder, death. You see it when you're young, you get to a certain age. You want to be nurturing, yet some things you want to cut out. We can't do that. The seed of destruction. And yet the memory and what prevailed before that was knowledge that knew these things. Society, government, or whatever is controlling us with tools such as media or somewhere along that way, I lost myself. And only a couple of years ago, I realized how much I, of me I really am, or rather am not. Somebody realized that they're not who they were supposed to be because they address things that didn't make them, they address things that didn't make sense and realize how can I make sense of something that I've been nurtured on, you know, I've been grafted in. They realized there was more pain in it, right? And how little I can be within the limits are imposed. Or rather, I'm not. And how little I can be me within the limits to which are imposed. Or subjugations, right? Fake laws and fake rules. They like writing rules all the fucking time. Who the fuck does that? For what? Now I see how brainwashed I've been. Still am. But I'll stop. You motherfuckers haven't stopped once. You motherfuckers will stay there, but you will create every excuse because you think it's all right. No, you won't free yourself and say, enough of this shit. I got to be free, even for a short time. You don't get it. You are in the real fucking last days. And then again, and the, and the last hope of this world is the American Negro. And because you got faggot niggas like that foreign Diddy motherfucker, you know, he can go take his ass back to Haiti and let him deal with him right now. I wish he would go to Haiti, Aruba, and let them fucking take his ass apart. That's where that nigga from. Jay-Z? Mm, I don't want to talk about that half drumming motherfucker. See, y'all don't get it, man. Whatever it takes, even detachment seems like a good option in some sort into achieving this kind of power. Because only then I am free to evolve myself. Who knows? Will I attain peace, freedom? Will I then be able to say that this life is really mine? Albert comes. Albert Camus, and you know I like reading quotes and philosophy. It's, and I wrote many of my own, but that's not neither here or there because I'm free to. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. But I don't think y'all really understand what that means. And what that comes with. Y'all have some, a lot of y'all have this fake entitlement. Entitled to be dumb, entitled to be rich, entitled to be in a family, entitled to be religious, entitled to be this, entitled to be Hebrew, entitled to be Islam, Muslim, Christian, entitled to be this, that, and then, that, and what, what the fuck? Why you gotta be entitled instead of being what you're supposed to be? A man and a fucking woman. Living your life as such. No, they got to come and bring a gay shit. They got to come bring this and got fake Jew bitches in the military walking around looking like dudes in a perverted, sick way because you know they've been partaking in shit that shouldn't happen. But I'm not here for that. No hate. 
You have to sit there and express freedom of speech to who? A motherfucking slave? You don't get it. Because the world is full of stupid asses. Putin's tired of playing the game, though he's still marginalized to play it because he has a rule. He's showing you the original people of Europe because he feels like, well, what the fuck? Y'all won't be here no longer. Or you won't look, your children won't look like you do. They don't know everything. They're pretty fucking stupid. They were never been to be in the positions they are in. And trust me. Any world where they think recessive genes is beautiful is a fucking gimmick. Anyway, I figured I'd come on and share that little bit of shit. Let you know that you're not fucking free. And for the naysayers to know this is a world, let me read Alexander von Hoffenho. Alexander von Hoffenho. Not much is known about the early life of Alexander von Hoffenho. However, what we do know is that he was a professor and an art historian who, during his 38 years in Mexico, who did I say was the first fucking, what you call it, in Mexico, a, a fake-ass Jew, emperor. That's right, before they established, because they needed them who came there and raped all the women and fought and killed majority were poisoned, sitting at tables, poisoned many of the indigenous Negro people, and many of them are still there because they were in the woods and hidden away, and there were treaties made with them, just like our people here. And so a lot of those Spanish folks got our bloodline out. But they're not the original fucking people. They have the original bloodline. But they're the enemies that came to subjugate. And by way of their ancestors poisoning, you can't imagine the numbers of people poisoned. At these dinners and these ceremonies. Millions. And their bones are everywhere. Curse onto the people that know. Walking around in their ignorance and fake whiteness. That's no hate. I'm just putting pointing out a fact. Now, some light-skinned motherfuckers wore our brothers, and they died with us. So that's what you don't fucking know. Anyway, let me go on, because I can interrupt this shit in all day. Brought to public attention numerous Negroid portraits in clay, gold, copper, and copal from ancient and medieval Central and South America. The porches were brought to light in his 1980 book, Unexpected, for those who like to buy books, I just ordered it too, Unexpected Faces in Ancient America. So remember that, Unexpected Faces in Ancient America, all right, this is a 1980 book, where Wathenu provided clear commentary to go with it. Wathenu said as it pertained to some of his portraits. Now, during the first international festival of Negro art in Dakar, Dukar, a Dakar, Dakar, D-A-K-A-R, excuse me, like the old, damn nail, almost like the old cologne. That shit was nasty. I was invited to exhibit my material of early representations of Negroes in pre-Columbian America. I displayed 64 photographs, Colombian, then say Columbus, so know the difference. Pre-Columbian America. I displayed 64 photographs of 25 artifacts, which I had brought with me from America in the library of the Assemblée Nationale. I had investigated this unexpected phenomenon for many years, but in Dakar, I was able. You would think that most of these Spanish motherfuckers, because the prison system would realize and all this MS-13, all this shit, they'd be like, well, them brothers are our motherfucking ass. Those are our people. And they would be with us, and we could have stopped a lot of shit. But because so many of the blood, when you got blood in it that poisoned you, and the conviction is pure lunacy, this is what we have. The first time to present my findings to Africans, who obviously know what a Negro is and what he looks like, Listen to this, the first time to present my findings to Africans who obviously know what a Negro is and what he looks like. My point of view that these ancient American sculptures could be considered truthful representation of Negroes was amply confirmed by everyone, including the president of Senegal, Leopold Segar, Sadar Senghor. So all them motherfuckers over there know it. Clearly, Negro representations in America can be identified as early as 12,000 to 650 BC, at least in terracotta and other materials known at present. He continues to say, an attentive study of Negro portrayals in pre-Columbian art leaves us little doubt about the presence of black people in ancient America. There was no such thing as black. 
And source, Walton Alexander Vaughn, Unexpected Faces in Ancient America, 1500, B.C. A.D. 1500, plus or minus historical testimony of pre-Columbian artists, Crown Publishers, 1975. And there are books that talk about the wars brought here, the subjugate and subdue of people. But that's a whole other narrative. Anyway, I wanted to keep it at an hour. I want to holler at y'all and then I'm going to get the fuck off this platform. I know that most of your minds, it'll just fucking slick like a strip stream win. It'll be like a chemtrail instead of a motherfucking steam, a convection trail, which is natural, coming off a jet, which shouldn't be really flying up there in the first place. But the chemtrail leaves all these poisons and shit. Silver diode, mind you, and fiberglass. Yeah, in your lungs, it fucks you up. Uh, shout you out, and then we get the fuck up off of here and uh, make me a big-ass egg sandwich. Fuck it. And what 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 does a chef to do when he cooks for himself? You know, the woman I had loved the fact I could cook. Fuck, didn't smoke around him. Wasn't a heavy drinker. Great entertainer. Funny as fuck. But they were broken. They were slaves. They didn't know what freedom was. So I'm gonna shout you guys out. And if you made donations, I didn't look. If you did, whatever. I'm just gonna use my money. Buy this couple of books that I, I'm gonna order. So whatever you donate, be good. Whatever you did, whatever. Nothing more kind of funny, bro. Anyway, let me shout y'all out. And uh, what's going on? I hope I'm saying that right. Ain't no 424. What's going on, beloved? Delusions, what's up, beloved? It's good to have you here, fam. Yeah, it's not going to be this weekend. I'm, I'm sad I was going to do it on here. Um, It's not going to be this weekend. This weekend coming up, it's going to be, um, what did we say, April? What did we say? Um, Because nobody else is chatting in the chat to fucking have this conversation and I'll fucking SMS. I don't need to turn on auto sync. I don't need it. So it would have been the 20th, right? No, let me, uh-oh, excuse me. So what it's going to be is, this is wrong, right? So it's going to be, it's going to be on the, not, not, not the 20th. It can be on the 27th, but we're going to further check. So if you was planning on coming next weekend, because ain't nobody say shit, because I know y'all some kind of emotionally slave minded motherfuckers. 20, if not, you can come, <laughs> you can come on May, all right? And I think May the 4th, do I, I don't have a, yeah, I think May the 4th. I think May the 4th or anywhere between May 2nd and 3rd, all right? That's the year I came into this world again, right? So May 2nd or the 3rd, if y'all want to come out, because by that time, it's going to be open house and I'm going to be getting rid of everything, okay? So he's got his daughter, things have to happen. I was getting ready to say, fuck it, I was going to come down there and hang out with him, right? But I still have things I have to do. There's things I have to get ready. Shit's got to be boxed up. A lot of things thrown away. It's not a lot of clutter. There's things that I just don't need, you know? But, um, yeah. So, May 2nd and 3rd. It's a long way off. All right? Tariq, what's going on, beloved? Honey, baby girl, Slaughter. What's happening? Grand Ascension, huh? How you doing, beloved? Herbo. What's good? What's good? How's it going over there, man? Let us know, man. <laughs> hey, my love. That, well, you know, that's my... I'm eternally bonded to all y'all, but see that right there? That's my, uh, when you say a queen or my top nagus, you know what I'm saying? Snoo, snoo, all day. And to go turtle, 17, what's up, beloved? It's good to have y'all up in here. Let me see. The greetings, I love the greetings. I appreciate that, hon. <laughs> that's right, tell her, that's right. Somebody went out and had a good time, didn't they? Just had to share it all with me. Ah, I gotta check out some of these restaurants over here. Tell them, Dick. Tell them. Even West Side know. If you ain't here, West Side, shout out, bro. They know some good food and if you like to drink and shit like that, it's really sweet over here. You know what I'm saying? Devin Demore, what's going on, beloved? What's happening? What's happening? It's good. It's a big judge. You know I love it when you're here. Arab means traveler. If so, one of their can for would be Ashkenazi. Well, yeah. No, Arab, Arab doesn't mean that. Arab is a whole brand new made up thing, bro. It's a whole new fucking thing. 
It's an identity card. You dig what I'm saying? Just like black, white, and everything else. That's why when I when these they're not even Gujar or not even Ashkenaz. That's a stolen identity uh, from a real relative. You dig what I'm saying? Um, how do I put it? Arab doesn't mean traveler, bro. Just like more don't mean great seafarer. It's just all bullshit. Take my word for it. It's easy to be grafted and free yourself from all that shit. That's why I always go easy with my brothers, man. Because I'm like, come on. Not to research, speak. Get Really get deep and realize that a lot of this shit is made up to keep the vision. The tactics and the devices they've done utilizes beyond the scope of your fucking mind, okay? When you free yourself, you'll see it all. I didn't sit there in the 80s at 20 fucking one years old. One one individual off a ship of damn near 6,000. One to go and meet this 87, 85, all these 80, all these old motherfucking masons. The oldest one being a woman with a red fucking dress like some Roger Rabbit shit. Old as fuck. Big ass tit. I, you know, I was young. You know, and looked like she maybe could be 60. Shit was weird as fuck. I had to drink them fucking drinks, bro. 12 row. And I fucking fell. I got 12. I had to pee and it fell the fuck out. But they, she got them big ass tit in my face and shepherd's pie and shit. And I couldn't leave. I had to finish the drinks. And the shit they told me and all the people that came out of nowhere. Believe me, there was no buildings, no nothing, nowhere. It was just fog and fucking that little thing with the, on the water. Fucking look like a... Uh, look, man. All right? There's a reason. But yeah. Corruption. It's good to have you up in here, Big Jazz. Always. Jamel Sam C. Grand Elevations, Grand Ascension. What's up? I love it. Yeah, I got to get with her. This was a chat. Let's go ahead and break your book down a little bit. Well, I'm going to read your book, and I'm going to break it down. She did a good job. I'm going to read your book, and I'm going to break it down for everybody. You know, it's, I gave you a nice review, too, bro. Yeah, I was holding. I was trying to hold off, but I gave you one. All of us who grew up watching Batman. Yeah, I remember you talking about Yeah, that's facts, though. Yeah. But he was a slave, too. Put on the glasses. Yep. This is, hey, what's going on, Ocelot? What's going on, beloved? It's good to have you all up in here. I hope, I hope, I hope. Do they descend from the the harems of the stars? No, look. Nicholas V was the orig was an original bloodline of, of man. They had to destroy that history. And see, these things are warlike. When I tell you there's two distinct people that was in so-called fake ass China, it was the Negro and the Alpelskin brothers. And if you can have two of the greatest race at odds with each other, and that's what these fucking fake Arab, these Gujar motherfuckers did. And they're not what you think they are. Didn't I say, look at the wars, and you see these so-called new age weird looking motherfuckers, and these Asian, new age Asian looking motherfuckers, they, right, right, they, they work together. So what the fuck is so hard to see Stop being complicit with the world they gave you and start being free and seeing shit for what it is. Now, not all of them hate you because the motherfuckers hate themselves that they'll sacrifice and kill half their own just to accomplish whatever it is they got to accomplish. See, that's the difference. That's why I said nobody is fucking free. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, the SARS, no. The SARS, was, we were SARS over here. What you, see, they got everybody thinking that, oh, the Russians, Nicholas Fitz, the SARS. No, we was ours too. Goddamn the Republic. The Republic of Tartary. Not the Great Expanse or the... No. They had to destroy everything methodically. And then once they got a heartbeat going, they would sit there and look, we would marry and they would have children. This is slow process shit. And then once they got to a certain role, this is like war, like drum, like... And those same children would turn on their fathers. But in the Bible, you say, and the father will begin, the son will begin the father, the mother, and the daughter will begin the dad, and the mama. And the, that was already played the fuck out. Y'all don't get what they did. They took everything and they laid it before you, and they got you thinking of Babylon. Nigga, you in Babylon. Y'all in Babylon now. It never existed. God damn. They tell you your truth, and they compose it with the motherfucking world that they've been told they're going to make. 
before the next part. Y'all can't even fathom it. It's beyond the conceptualization of anything you can put together because you're still held. Y'all are still held to the shit they laid out before you. Not tell you. I just said what is slavery and what's freedom, right? I just expressed to you that nobody's free. Even your thoughts are conscripted to what everything they laid foundation on. Like they're gonna tell you the goddamn truth. Lloyd, what's going on, beloved? No, my boy is good or not. So I go hard, man, on this. Quintus, what's going on? That <laughs> Dirty Chairs, 4-4. Four, four. What's up, y'all? They go Q-Dog for you football players. He was with the Cincinnati Colts, all right? For for those of us, big jurors, Snoo and all. Even even our brother Delusions from Jersey, all right? Y'all already know, goddamn, all right? All right? So, yeah, Dirty Jersey, 4-4 four, four for life. Anyway, that's right. Anyway, it's, it's a blessing. We're gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna set up a podcast. It's gonna be here in the, in the future. With Q Dog, to talk about a lot of things. I like that big pond they got going too. That way they can, you know, they can really talk about some. Wanting some. I think it'd be a great thing. So I have to get with them. I gotta get with Baby Girl Slaughter. So I can. I want to do. I want to read um, Jamil's book though. I want to do a breakdown because I read it a couple times and he he's well put together and it's well rounded. Everything you see people talking about, if they was to pick up the book, they get he said a source of information for their families and stop just beating all you know all this fools. Even that book, um, that book that I told you about the other day, uh, the the so called ten or fifteen white men that address the fact of black indigenous, that's a book you could be utilized and let the family sit around the table. And... Fuck you, looking at. Don't be whining like that. Anyway, my apologies. Um, good for people to read. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, appreciate y'all taking the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make me a big-ass egg sandwich with no salt, no pepper, just regular old egg on a big-ass bagel, everything bagel, Sit back and read. And my apologies, but not apologies for not coming on. I told you what happened. I was like, holy. And I, and I refuse to go to the emergency room, y'all. I'd rather be in here dead and stinking. Well, this carcass, at least. All right. So I'm going to see y'all here in a couple hours, all right? About three hours. All right? Appreciate y'all. Below, like I said, the world is bothered by the truth. Fuck them. And then control the shit. Either you're really free or you're fucking not.